Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top 10 pieces of advice for affiliate marketing beginners. Now, what should make this video extremely helpful is that these 10 pieces of advice are going to be things that I learned over the years of doing affiliate marketing. They are personal things that I would very much recommend you do, things that I found out that have worked extremely well. These are not going to be the things that you find on the common lists online of generic best practices for affiliate marketing. So this video should really turn into one of those videos that you just watch one time through, it takes you a couple minutes, and then it gets your entire affiliate marketing business off to a very good start. So with that being said, let's get into the first piece of advice for affiliate marketing beginners. Now, what this is, is to never promote products that you don't believe in. This should be treated as the golden rule for affiliate marketing. So many new affiliate marketers come in and they just pick out the niche that they want to go into and look for what companies have affiliate programs that are offering the highest commissions. Well, I can tell you from experience, most of the time, those products are fly-by-night companies that have very low quality products and they're just trying to make money by luring in affiliates like the beginners that are starting out. Although you can make money doing that because you're going to make high commissions, no one's ever going to come back to your content. You're never going to build an audience because when all of those people purchase those products and they receive it and they actually use it, they're going to find out that that product is very low quality and therefore it ruins your reputation as an affiliate marketer. I can tell you from so much experience that when you find those best quality products, a lot of the times they have very good commissions as well. So you can make just as much money by promoting a product that's actually good. That brings us into the second piece of advice that I would give you, and that is to find good commission products. Now, I'm not saying high commission products. I'm saying good commission products. Now, allow me to explain this. So when you are getting started out in affiliate marketing, you can join all different kinds of affiliate programs for all different kinds of products. The first one that I would recommend almost everyone join is Amazon's affiliate program. The reason for this is although they offer a low commission rate, they allow you to be an affiliate for every product that's on Amazon, and Amazon is a very trusted company. Now, with that being said, I would not consider Amazon a good commission product. They're going to give you a couple percent, but that's about it. So as you keep moving along in affiliate marketing and you get a little bit more advanced, then I would seek out individual companies that offer the best quality product in the niche, and they have really good commission rates. Doing this one thing of seeking out those individual companies and joining those affiliate programs is going to make you a lot more money in affiliate marketing compared to joining something like Amazon. All right, the third piece of advice for beginners in affiliate marketing is something that not many people know that you can do, and that is to ask for discount codes. When you partner with individual companies, like we were just talking about, you can actually email them and talk to your affiliate manager and ask them for a discount code that you can offer the people that are reading or watching your affiliate content. A lot of the times they're willing to create a custom discount code just for you, and then that's something that you can offer the people that are reading or watching your content. Now, sometimes it's just a straight discount code that they just give you totally for free, other times they will give you the option to take a percentage out of your own commission to create that discount code so that it's not costing the company anything extra, but then you as an affiliate can offer something special to the people that are reading or viewing your content. So keep that in mind. It just makes your affiliate content way more valuable for people to read or watch and gives people more of an incentive to use your affiliate link. All right, the fourth piece of advice I would give you is to make sure that your content is fluff free. When you are creating your blog articles or your videos for affiliate marketing, take out all of the BS, take out all of the things that people really don't need, all the filler information, and think about if you were someone who was reading or viewing that content, what would you want to know? Whatever those specific things are that you would want to know, that's what you want to put into your content. By keeping it lean like this, you're just continuing to deliver value all the way through your content. People will really appreciate that. Moving on to the fifth piece of advice, that is to review products in your niche. If you were looking for the easiest type of content to create to get affiliate commissions, that would be by doing product reviews. There is so much more that I could say about this one, but I want to keep this video going along. Just know that that is a type of content that works extremely well for affiliate marketing. The sixth piece of advice, if you're just starting out in affiliate marketing, is to remember to have a CTA. CTA stands for call to action. For every piece of affiliate content that you make, you want to make sure that you're not forgetting to put in what is the next step for that reader or viewer, whether that's a link to that product with your affiliate link or the next piece of content that they should read or watch that's going to help them even more. Just make sure that you are laying out for them where's the next place that they should go. Just a quick note, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's all I ask and it tells YouTube that this is actually good content, so I really would appreciate that. And just like 
with that, that brings us into my seventh piece of advice. And what that is, is that over the years, I've learned that the best affiliate programs are not on the affiliate networks. What has become such a true statement over the years is that the best affiliate programs, the best quality products, and the best commission rates are on individual websites. They're basically the individual company's affiliate program, and they're not listed on the big network lists. So once you've decided on your niche for affiliate marketing, and you're getting ready to pick your affiliate programs that you want to join, make sure that you go to individual websites and look up their programs don't limit yourself to just the marketplace lists. All right, and the eighth piece of advice is something that I don't think many new affiliate marketers know, and that is that you can negotiate your commission rate. This is particularly true when you partner with individual companies, and essentially as a rule of thumb, Generally speaking, the more sales that you get for that company, the higher your commission rate should be. This is something that a lot of companies don't really want to advertise because they'd rather pay you just the base commission, no matter how many sales you bring them. However, as you start to generate more sales for an individual company, don't be afraid to email your affiliate manager and just ask if there's room to increase your affiliate commission. Now, I'm not talking about a ton of money here, but it's more of just an incentive to keep you creating content about that company. And just like that, we're on to the ninth piece of advice. And what that is, is to think like your audience. When you are thinking about what kind of content to make for your affiliate marketing business, think about if you were someone on the other side of this, what kind of content would you want to be seeing before you make your purchase? By thinking like this, you're going to come up with so many better ideas for creating content for affiliate marketing that you're not going to find on any tools that say here's what to make. And the last piece of advice, something that is extremely important is when you're getting started in affiliate marketing, pick the right content platform. You can do affiliate marketing a number of different ways. There's all different platforms that you can post your content on. The two main ways would be creating blog articles and posting them on your own website or creating affiliate marketing videos and posting them on YouTube. You can make money with both of these ways or all of the different ways of doing affiliate marketing, but I personally think right now you will make the most money with video. I've done multiple different ways of doing affiliate marketing and just in the last couple of years, I've made an absolute killing just from the videos. In the last couple of years, I've started three different niche affiliate marketing YouTube channels, and they've now made over a million dollars in profit in just the last three years. With that being said, I have to take my own advice and I have to have a call to action in this video. So my call to action here or the next step that I'd like to offer you is if you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, specifically for videos, which I think is the best place to be right now, I have a full course on this. So it's the first time that I've done it. I've treated it as if you were a family member on the other side of the camera and I showed everything from step to step just with my absolute best advice, all the tricks and tips, literally every step. It's all laid out in this course. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'll put a link to it down in the description. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you have any questions at all, just let me know down in the comments. I'd really like to help you guys out. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next video.